Well, hello everybody. My name is Miss Kathy, and I am so glad that you came to church today. We're starting a brand new series on the fruit of the Spirit. The fruit that we're talking about today is not the kind of that we eat. The fruit of the Spirit is things like love, joy, peace, and patience. When we follow Jesus, the Holy Spirit helps us to become more like Jesus. And then we have the fruit of the Spirit. Today, we're going to talk about the first fruit of the Spirit, which is love. When I count to three, let's say love all together. Ready? One, two, three. Love. Great job. We are going to learn more about love through our Bible story today called John's Letter About Love. To help us learn our Bible story, I brought along some puppets to help us tell this story. This is Jesus. Jesus is God's son, and he's the savior of the world. During his time on earth, he taught many people about God's love. This is John. John was a disciple of Jesus. He heard Jesus' teaching and saw how much Jesus loved people. John wrote letters to people who believe in Jesus, and in one of his letters he wrote about love. He said, we know what real love is because of Jesus. And Jesus showed what real love was when he gave up his life for us. The Bible tells us that we should love people too. We should not only just use our words to love other people, but we should love other people through our actions. Love is more than just a feeling. Love is showing others that we care about them through what we say and what we do. Wow, John wrote so many letters to people who believed in Jesus. He did this so that he would encourage them and teach them. In the letter we're learning about today, John talked about real love. Love is more than just a feeling. Love is showing that we care about others through our actions. Jesus showed us what real love is when he gave up his life for us. We can show Jesus that we love him too when we worship. So now, everybody up and let's sing and dance for Jesus. This song is called Shine My Light. It's all about how we can shine our light for Jesus. So we're gonna start by singing, You Are The Light. You are the light, you live in me. Help me to love like you love me even when i want to go my own way jesus you make me strong we're gonna sing no i won't give up let's stomp our feet no i won't give up even when it's tough i'm gonna shine my life for you yes i will do good and i will be kind i'm gonna shine my life for you Lord I'll be patient and I will share so others see how much you care even when I want to go my own way Jesus you make me strong sing no I won't give up no I won't give up even when it's tough I'm gonna shine my life I'll 
shine for you. Shout it out. I'll shine for you. I'll shine for you. All right, let's all clap our hands. You guys, great job singing that song, How to Jesus. Great job singing and dancing. One of the best ways that we can shine our light for Jesus is by loving others through our actions. Now remember, love is more than just a feeling. Love is showing that we care about them through our actions. Now I have something I want to show you. Do you know what this is? Yes, this is the Bible. The Bible is a special book because it's God's book. There are a lot of stories in the Bible, but today we are hearing the story of John's letter about love. In this letter, John wrote about what real love is. He talked about how Jesus showed us real love when he gave up his life for us. Jesus loves us so much. So now, let's put on our thinking caps and listening ears to hear the Bible story. Slapstick Theater. John's letter about love. This is John. He there. John was a disciple of Jesus. He heard Jesus' teaching huh. Hi, yeah. and saw how much Jesus loved people. Wow. John spent the rest of his life telling others about Jesus. John wrote letters to people who believed in Jesus to encourage them and teach them. Hmm. In one of his letters, he wrote about real love. He said that we know what real love is because Jesus gave up his life for us, so we should do the same for others. If someone has enough money to live well and sees another in need but doesn't help, uh, yeah. how can God's love really be in that person? John said, let's not merely say that we love each other, but let's show our love for people through our actions. John helped us to, to understand what real love is. Now remember, real love is not just a feeling. Real love is showing that we care about them through our actions. It's easy for us to tell someone that we love them, but real love is showing that we care about them. When we follow Jesus, the Holy Spirit makes us more like Jesus. We then start having the fruit of the Spirit. The fruit of the Spirit is not actual fruit like the fruit we eat. It's things like love, joy, peace, and patience. We know that because of our memory verse. And the memory, the Bible verse says this, but the Holy Spirit produces this kind of fruit in our lives. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Galatians 5.22. Now we're going to sing a song about the fruit of the Spirit our memory verse talks about. This song's called The Fruit of the Spirit. Let's clap our hands like this. We're going to sing this song that's all about the fruit of the Spirit that God works in us. We're going to start by singing, When My Neighbor Feels Sad, Tired, or Confused. Okay, so let's sing it out together. Here we go. When my neighbor looks sad, tired, or confused, when a friend is mad, or said something rude, God gave us some seeds that can grow into fruit, a life full of love, grace, and truth. I got love, joy, peace. Good job. Let's sing patience. Patience, kindness, goodness. All right, you guys, sing faithfulness. Faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. God's love shown to all the world. Good job, you guys. All right, let's clap our hands again. And we're going to sing that all over when my neighbor looks sad, tired, or confused. Okay, here we go. When my neighbor looks sad, tired, or confused, when a friend is mad or said something rude, God gave us some seeds that can grow into fruit, a life full of love, grace, and truth. I got love, joy, peace. Nice job, you guys. Let's sing together. Patience, kindness, goodness. All right, sing faithfulness. Faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. God's love shown to all the world. That God love, joy, peace. Sing out patience. Patience, kindness, goodness. All right, you guys, sing out really loud. Faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. 
control God's love shown to all the world All right, you guys, let's clap our hands like this again. We are singing about the fruit of the Spirit. Now, the fruit of the Spirit is what God works in us when we know Him. And you guys, we're going to sing, I got the fruit of the Spirit, because we know and we know Jesus that we have it, okay? So let's sing it out really loud. Here we go. I got the fruit of the Spirit. Sing that out again. Yeah, the fruit of the Spirit. As loud as you can. I got the fruit of the Spirit. Let me hear some yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Sing out, I got love. I got love, joy, peace. Good job. Let's sing patience. Patience, kindness, goodness. Awesome job, you guys. Let me hear ya. Faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. God's love shown to all the world. I got love, joy, peace. Good job, you guys. Sing patience. Patience, kindness, goodness. All right, sing faithfulness. Faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. God's love shown to all the world. God's love shown to all the world. Great job! The fruit of the Spirit are the things that we can have, like love and joy, when we believe and have a friendship with Jesus. I think we need some help to understand how we can love others. Hmm, I heard that Bog and Gus got their very own food truck, and that they're going to have some fun adventures together. I even heard that Bog is making pies. Hmm, now let's make sure that we're ready to listen and learn. So put on your listening ears and your thinking caps and let's join Bog, Gus, and David for Gus and Bog's food truck adventure. Pies, fresh pies, the best you'll ever have. Come on over, we got banana and, and strawberry and lingonberry and rhubarb and, oh, hi, David. Hey, Gus, what's this all about? Bog and I got a food truck. I saved up for months and finally got enough to buy it. And we're selling his pies out of it. Wow, that's awesome. Yeah. That's really nice of you to buy a food truck for Bog. Well, well he's my friend. I, I wanted to do something nice for him. So why are you out here? Oh, well, um, Bog doesn't want me in the truck. He thinks I'll mess stuff up, but, but this is a good job out here. Uh, hey, uh, you should get a pie. You know, I think I will. Good. Okay, come and get your pies. We got peach and we got strawberry and we got lingonberry and boysenberry. Uh, hello, David. <clears throat> Welcome to the Wildwood Pie Company. How can I help you? I would like one apple pie, please. Ah, coming right up. That'll be $3. All right. You know, I like all these fruit pies you have. Well, fruit pies are the best pies. Yeah. You know, I was reading uh, something in the Bible today about the fruits of the Spirit. Think you, what kind of fruit is that? I don't think you can make a pie from that. <laughs> no, probably not. When we follow Jesus, the Holy Spirit works to make us more like Jesus. And then he gives us the fruits of the Spirit, but it's not like the fruits that you have there. It's things like love and joy, peace and patience. I've never seen a love fruit. <laughs> That's because it's not really a fruit, but it is something that, that we have when we know Jesus. It's all that sappy love stuff, like saying, uh, I love you, and all that all the time. No, it's, it's more than a feeling. Uh, real love is showing others that we, we care about them through our actions. You know, it's kind of like how Gus showed you how much he cared about you by buying you this food truck. Uh, oh, uh, uh. And I was thinking maybe you could show Gus how how much you love him and how you're his friend by letting him in the food truck and help you out. What? But he's fine out there. He has a job. He knows we're friends. It's up to you, Bog. I was just thinking about that when I saw all these fruits. I'll, I'll see you later, Bog. Oh, all right, enjoy your pie. Thanks. Oh, enjoy your pie, David! Bug, I passed out all the flyers. There's a big crowd of people and scuppets behind me who are coming to get pies. I outran them because I'm scared of crowds and I wanted to give you a heads up. Uh, thanks, Gus. Uh, hey, I was wondering, uh, huh? do you want to come in the truck with me and help? <gasps> really? Yeah. Oh, yes! Ready to work, chef? W where did you get that? Oh, I had it just in case. Uh, all right, all right, here comes a crowd. 
All right, you take orders, I'll get them ready. Yes, yeah, Chef! Oh, and Bog, thank you. You're a good friend. Y yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, just get ready, I see a crowd coming. Wait, a crowd? What? Ah! No! No crowd! Oh, oh, those people. Um. <clears throat> oh. Bog showed Gus that he loved him by letting Gus join him on the truck. Jesus wants us to show real love to others too. And we can show our parents that we love them by picking up our toys. And we can also show other family or friends real love by sharing our most favorite toys with them. We can also show others what real love is when we follow Jesus. When we make the decision to follow Jesus and make him our forever friend, the Holy Spirit works to make us more like him. This week, remember what real love is more than just a feeling. Real love is showing others that we care about them through what we do. Listen, before we go, let's pray. Prayer, remember, is just talking to Jesus like we talk to our best friend. So go ahead, bow your heads, fold your hands to keep from being distracted, and let's talk to Jesus. Dear Jesus, just thank you for helping us more, learn more about love, and thank you for loving us so much and for giving up your one and only Son. Please help us to remember the different ways that we show love to others this week. We love you. Amen.